What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Chronological Nuzlocke Challenge. Last time we made it to Bill and learned about the Pokemon storage system and uh, helped him out with his problem of being a Clefairy. And also unsuccessfully tried to catch an Abra, but that guy was a punk bitch, and we don't need him on the team if he's going to run away like that. Also caught a Caterpie that I'm probably never going to use, but... Hopefully more success here. Who do we got? A Meowth? That's pretty fantastic. I will I will take that. A Meowth is not bad. All right. Uh, let's go uh, Quick Attack, I think. That won't kill it. Oh, gosh. That did a lot, actually. All right. So we will have a Meowth in the storage box for use in future times. I don't know what I'm going to call this Meowth. Oh, there's a lot of names that you could go with, like a cat-type Pokemon, female cat-type Pokemon. Um, Meowth, it's an urban Pokemon. All it does is sleep during the daytime. At night, it patrols its territory with its eyes aglow. So, nickname for Meowth, I don't know. A female cat. Hmm, well, I'll just go with the obvious. We could call this Pussy. What's up, Pussy? I just captured a pussy. Not like I ever do that in the real life, but you know what? We got a pussy now on our team. Well, that doesn't sound very good. We want strong Pokemon on the team. We don't want pussies. We want people that'll kick some ass and take some names. What else we got in here? More? There's a bunch of Pidgeys. I'm glad we did not find a Pidgey, because I already got I had one of those. Now it's a Pidgeotto. Yeah, tons of Pidgeys. Not cool. All right. Anything? No, nope, more Pidgeys. Let's just run. That's all we're going to find there. Look at who it is. It's the daycare people. Oh, I run a daycare service. No, I can't. It's against the rules. Sorry, old man. But let's head back to Cerulean City quick. Speed up. Heal everybody. At least heal uh, Fang because it took damage from capturing the Pidgey. And we can go back on our way. Oh, God, not here. Fuck you. All right. Back to where we were. And I'm going to talk to you about my recent endeavors in other games that I'm currently playing. Not let's playing at all, but just playing. This way you go to the uh, Hidden Garden in uh, Ash Gray, but enough of that. It's not much of a secret that I have and have been playing the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. Hi, do you have a neat arena? Need a no, I don't. No, yeah, I don't. I trade a male for a female? Why would I do that? Males are totally cool. I like them. But yeah, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. I actually beat uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix and was planning on playing Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories uh, after I played my after I finished my current game that I'm playing, which is I love. It's a PC game. I'll talk about it probably next episode. But I wanted to get this out first of all. New root. Who are we gonna find? We found an Oddish. So that's something. Got another grass type. But, yes, unfortunately, my plans have been deterred from playing Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory because my PS3 took a shit. And by that, I mean it no longer works. I came home from a fun night of bowling with my roommate. Oh, god damn it! Fucking critical hit. Oh, well. Um, came home from a fun night of bowling with my, my roommate, D-Geigs. Spending some of my Let's Plays. There aren't many bugs out here. This guy's a bug catcher. And tried to turn on my PS3 to watch some Let's Plays on it. And it wouldn't turn on with my controller. So I was like, oh, I'll just hit the power button. And that didn't do sh shit. And I was like, what the hell? And... Yeah, it just won't turn on now. You hit the button, it doesn't do anything, and then if you hit it again, th there's an orange light that flashes, then it beeps twice, and then shuts down completely. So... It's something with the power in the system, and it's just completely ruined. It's it's something with the hardware, so my PS3 is, is garbage at this point, which... It's not the worst timing of it to happen, other than I wanted to play Chain of Memory, and also that my Kingdom Hearts disc is still in there. Fang up level 20, that's good. Yeah, my Kingdom Hearts disc is still in my uh, my PS3, so... 
I gotta get that out at some point before I junk it, but... Focus energy, no thank you. Yeah, I hit the wrong button there. Yes, stop learning. But, I did finish Kingdom Hearts Final Mix before it took a crap, so... At least I finished it and I wasn't like at the end and I lost all of my progress. And the only thing that kind of upsets me about... The only thing that I have on my PS3 that I wouldn't want to lose is the backgrounds that I unlocked in Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 HD Remix. I was actually going to do a video about all the different backgrounds that you unlocked uh, from playing the three different games. And Fang is evolving! Holy cripes, he's going to even get a bigger Fang now. But, yes, yeah, so I was going to do a video about all the backgrounds you unlock. You unlock uh, a new background for each of the three games. And I'll say... The two backgrounds that I unlocked for 358 over two days and Final Mix were better than the dynamic background that you get, um, uh, I got from GameStop for the pre-order, but, yeah, I changed that right at, right away after I reduce the speed, yeah, I don't, I don't care, yes, yeah, stop learning that, but, yeah, the, the backgrounds are really cool, especially the Final Mix background that you get. I really like that background, and I had that as my background for probably about two days before the system broke, so... What I'm hoping is that you unlock those backgrounds from the actual trophies unlocking and having those trophies with your... with your PSN name, because, you know, you can get my... I can get my PSN back and get all my trophies back, but... I can't get any of the save data back off the PS3, which I wasn't in the middle of playing any games and there wasn't any data on there for games that I cared about. So I'm just hoping that it unlocks with the with the trophies instead of actually beating the game because then I'd have to beat the game again in order to get those cool backgrounds that I wanted. But that's my PS3 thing. I called the Sony about it and they said... I can send it to them, they can get the disc out, and fix it for $99, and I'm just like, eh, because there weren't a whole lot of, there aren't a whole lot of games that I really have to play for my PS3. I have uh, the Jack and Daxter collection that I bought a few months ago that I was playing, I'm playing at some point, and Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory, and that's about it. So I'm not in a huge hurry to get it fixed, especially with the Xbox One and the PS4 coming out. It's like... And I got like... 15 games to play for the Xbox 360, so it's like... I think I'll probably... Get a new PS3 in like... Two years, when they're like... 50 bucks. And then... I'll be able to play Chain of Memory and anything I want for the PS3. Because I got like... I got like 10 PS3 games... Still. Unfortunately, it's not backwards. Uh, the backwards compatibility isn't existent with the new consoles, but that's unfortunate. And if it was backwards compatible, I would be getting both systems right away, but I plan on buying the PS4 and the Xbox One and selling the PS4. Uh, I figure I could probably make 100 or 200 bucks or whatever off of it, so... Hopefully that works out. Not Momo! Don't be poison, Momo! I hope I have some antidotes, otherwise that will be exceedingly unfortunate. Uh, let's go into Herp. Herp's first battle, I think, he, uh, as a Gyarados, in fact. Herp- oh, no, no, first or second. It's the second, I think, actually. I've had- I've used Herp before. I'm gonna use Supersonic again. Bad move, Butterfree. We can use Water Pulse, that's not gonna do a whole lot, but it's a stab move, so... Yeah, I think Bite's gonna do more. Stun Spore too? God, this Butterfree's a bitch. But I actually probably could get back to the Pokemon Center without even needing an antidote, because it's not very far away. I just gotta battle a couple of people first. So, Jesus Christ, this Butterfree's a pain in the ass. Yeah, so you Super Sonic again. I'm sure that's very effective. So, yeah. I mean, those are my problems right now. Not very great, but it's what it is, and in a couple... Jeez, that did nothing. In a couple of years, I'll get a new PS3 and be able to play some shit, too, so... 
If you have me added on the PS3, that is why I will not be online for a long time. But mainly I use my PS3 to watch stuff, uh, just watch videos and watch YouTube videos and Let's Plays of uh, other people that I usually watch, so it's not a huge loss, I just like the PS3's video system better than the Xbox 360's, but I mean, I still have my Xbox 360 so I can still watch stuff. It's not the worst thing ever, and everybody's growing to level 20 now, jeesh, trying to learn Whirlwind, uh, probably not because I have useful moves, other than Tackle. I might just use Whirlwind instead of Tackle, just so that Tackle's gone and I just don't have it anymore. So we learned Whirlwind. That's nice. Herp getting some levels to, uh, getting some experience to, not levels. But halfway up, though. That's not bad. We got, I think, two more battles here. So let's just skip Momo, go right to Summer. Tyson will evolve at level 28, but I can't decide if I'm actually going to have... Tyson evolved at level 28 because learns cross chop at 31, and if you evolve into a primate first, it has to wait till level 35. So I'll probably just evolve him anyway. I mean, screw it, why not? So summer against a Pidgey. Pidgey's not going to use Gust, so I'll just use my Leech Seed and be able to get some get some damage off against the Pidgey while it attacks me. Hopefully, won't use Gust, and hopefully. The other Pokemon aren't Pidgeys as well. So I can speed this shit up. Just gonna use Tackle apparently. Critical hit! Killed it. another Pidgey, yeah. Let's get out of here. I'll bring in Fang for his first action as Eradicate. Pretty sweet. Yeah, nobody else, because Fang is uh Fang's the only one that is kind of useful right now since Momo's poisoned. Herp is paralyzed, and the other two are weak against uh, flying-type moves, so... Fang with the one-hit KO with the Hyper Fang! <laughs> and now we got one last Pidgey, Hyper Fang for the win, dead. Didn't even need a critical hit there. Things just didn't work. Hmm... Yeah, that's what happens when you're a picnicker. Things just don't work out for you. Alright, hopefully this person won't have Pidgeys and they'll just have Rattatas instead. Huh? You want to talk to me? Not really, I just want to go to Vermilion City and heal and go into the cave and try and find new Pokemans. He's got a Spearow, so that's not the greatest. Probably use Peck, but I got my Leech Seed, which I can get health back for, so probably not going to be able to kill me. Peck doesn't actually do that much. Yeah, I did about 16, was it? Wasn't quite looking at what my health was before that, but a couple of tackles should be fine then. Could use Sleep Powder too, just so that, you know, it can't attack me, but, I mean, a couple of tackles and we'll be dead anyway, so. There we go, Leech Seed for the win. Summer up level 20. Very nice, very nice. And now Eradicate, so that'll be perfect for Summer. I'm gonna use Leech Seed again, just because it evaded the attack, you son of a bitch. Vine Whips! Uh, let's do Vine Whips again. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah! Alright, didn't get critical. That's good. I got my items. You gotta use a Super Potion on Summer. I'm gonna use my Quick Attack still. It does 15 damage, so I'll be fine. One more Vine Whip. Eradicates Dead Summer. Getting some experience, and we defeat Jeff. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. A challenge. I didn't challenge you. You walked up to me and was like, hey, you wanna talk? And I was just like, not... Nah. Particularly, but if you want to, I guess. Alright. So we gotta head into Vermilion City, heal everybody up. Yo Yo's gonna be fine. See, Pokemon Center's right here. And we can catch a water Pokemon here, but I probably will just wait, I guess, because if I just use the old rod in Vermilion City, I'm just gonna catch a Magikarp. So I might as well wait, I guess. What is it? Was, uh... Yo-Yo's still level 19. Alright, perfect. The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too, so I've been giving these away. Please take one. The Verse Seeker! An item I have never used. Because I'm... Once I beat the fucking game, I'm like, alright! Start a new game! 
Even if they are the same level Pokemon, can very different stats and abilities of Pokemon raised by trainers stronger than one in the wild. So remember, get your Pokemon young. The younger the better. Then they won't run away from you and they'll love you forever. Alright, Momo was level 20, so I actually gotta move you behind Fang. Because that's how I do it. Alright, you can get the old rod in here, I might as well do that. I'm the fishing guru, and I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Heck yeah! Grand, I like your style, I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. I got the old rod from the fishing guru. Fishing is a way of life, it is like the finest poetry from the seas to rivers go out and land the big one my friend I land your big one sir all right I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon so yo-yo's in front which is good you can use the sleep powder and make it a lot easier probably should grab some pokeballs while we're here I only got four left what are we gonna get uh, pokeballs get some uh, get ten that's fine I have some antidotes right yeah, I have five. I bought some after uh, Pidgeotto almost died. Or, sorry, Yo-Yo almost died in the Mount Moon. Yo-Yo is fine now and is going to help me capture some Pokemon. So let's go this way first. And we are on Route 11, which is a new route. We can catch something else. But Diglett's Cave first. We can catch Diglett. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. Well, they told you right, because that is 100% true. Let's catch a Diglett! Come on, Diglett, don't be shy. There we go. Diglett! And let's go here. Yo-Yo, use your sleepies. Magnitude 8. How are you hitting me? I'm floating. Exactly. Shut up. Sleep powder, very nicely effective against the Diglett. One confusion should put me in the perfect spot here. Come on, no, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. There we go, that's fine. Half health, that's fantastic. All right, Pokeball, go! Capture that Diglett, Diglett. Diglett's dig. Trio, trio, trio. Caught the Diglett. New Pokemon in the box now. Fantastic. Diglett's right next to Onyx, apparently. Cave Pokemon, it burrows through the ground at a shallow depth. It, it leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. Very small guy. Let's give this Diglett a nickname. Alright, I got a nickname for this little Diglett. I'm gonna call you Dirty Dan. I've been talking a lot of uh, Spongebob and I figure, you know, he's a little dirty, he plays around in the dirt a lot, so uh, you're gonna be Dirty Dan. Not Pinhead Larry. Maybe we'll get a Pinhead Larry in here sometime too. Although Pinhead Larry would not fit because it's uh, too many characters, unfortunately. But let's see. Do we got? How, how's my health here? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. We can get somebody else here. All right. So we're on a new route. Grab this Pokeball here. It's an awakening. That's nice. We can catch somebody else here too. Who do we got? Somebody good. I hope. Come on. It's an Ekans, that's not bad, all right. I would not mind an Ekans in my, in my fold of Pokemons that I can use, but I cannot use uh, Confusion on it. It'll probably kill it because Confusion is super effective, but it has a uh, Shed Skin. Let's just keep using Sleep Powder. Can't keep shedding your skin every time, Ekans, you son of a bitch. All right. So let's go into Fang. Fang still has Quick Attack and Tackle. So let's just Tackle. That almost killed him. So yeah, that was a good plan. Pokeball, go! We can catch an Ekans. Head back to the Pokemon Center and probably call it a day. Alrighty, we got an Ekans. Very nice. Well, we get this data in here. It's a Grassland Pokemon. A very common sight in grassland, except it flicks its tongue in and out to sense danger in its surroundings. Well, it didn't sense me because I whooped its ass. All right, what do we got here for Ekans? I can call it Snake because that's backwards, but you know what? I'm going to call you... It's going to be Solid Snake. Although... Whoop, spelled that wrong there. Solid Snake. 
Where are we going here? Nah, there it is. Alright, no spaces though. Don't have enough room for spaces. Spaces are for pussies. Solid snake! Even though it's a female. Let's head back to the Pokemon Center. Heal everybody up. Take a look at our new dudes that we caught. And... Call it a fantastical day because we made a lot of progress. Still didn't lose anybody. Alright, fast forward here. Let's take a look in the box. And we can go to move, and that will let me look. All right, we got... We bought Rocky Balboa here. We got Lee, who won't be probably used at all, but who knows. Wormy, Pussy, Dirty Dan, and Solid Snake. So, fantastic group of uh, guys in there in case I ever need them. So, that is all for this episode. So, I will thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.